Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading session. If you are brand new to the channel, like, please subscribe, share, come aboard, um, you know, join us, right? Join us on a day-to-day -day journey of unbiased uh, technical analysis. So let's talk about uh, the tape. Uh, as you can see here uh, on the cues, the cues are still building a flag. Uh, and this is very, very bullish considering, well, we're not going down. And they try to sell off the market uh, several times today. As you can imagine, it's very, very tough to sell off a market uh, that is still above rising support. And, you know, when we reclaimed back that really aggressive day, you know, we reclaimed back the five and 10 day moving average on Friday. And now we're just kind of building, you know, building a flag. As you can imagine, when you're building a flag, when we're going sideways, the majority of stocks are going to go sideways as well. Uh, where the value is continues to be are the stocks that are coming in with some pretty aggressive uh, option flow. We'll get to those names uh, in a second. Uh, when you look at the scoreboard today, right? Uh, and we had some pretty big names uh, reporting this morning. You had Caterpillar was obviously, uh, you know, probably the biggest reason the Dow uh, was up on the day. When you look at the Qs, uh, when you look at the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, uh, nothing really, again, nothing really to write home about. S&P down 12, uh, NASDAQ down 62, but again, continues uh, to be in this sideways range. Uh, the big couple of earnings that came out today, you had Starbucks come out. Uh, and again, I was a, a, a very, very aggressive coffee drinker for the majority of my adult life. About a year ago, I just quit coffee. Uh, I quit coffee along pretty much with everything else. Uh, that is, um, you know, that is unhealthy. Not that coffee is unhealthy. I get it. I get the studies and all that stuff. But I give up coffee. And I used to think, how can Starbucks not be at $3,000 a share? If you go in, in Manhattan, New York City, or any major metropolitan city, you'd see there's a Starbucks literally every block. And the problem is that's not every city, right? That's not every uh, small town. Uh, that only works in major metropolitan areas. Uh, Starbucks down about a dollar uh, after the close. If you guys remember for the last couple of days, we talked about the option flow on AMD. They were coming for the 120s, the 125s. You can see uh, the buying here prior to the earnings today. They were coming for the 126 weeklies, the 26 weeklies, uh, the 35s for next week, the 122s. And after the close, uh, AMD came out with earnings. And if you look at uh, the initial response was lower, came right back and just really, really took off. When traded as high as uh, into the one uh, 125 is really, really nice push there. And it's kind of sitting there uh, building above today's highs. And you can see a really nice run up uh, into those highs. Uh, NVIDIA, uh, again, sitting in the range just with just so like with uh, AMD, uh, getting a little pop at the, at the open, uh, at the close. But the point is everything is still flagging. Uh, tomorrow, you're not going to get a lot of major, head, uh, not a lot of major uh, earnings. Uh, you do have Qualcomm again. Uh, another semiconductor. Uh, let me just take a look. I haven't seen really any option flow on Qualcomm. Um, let me take a look here. No, nah, nothing really. Uh, you see here two orders uh, came out, at least uh, on my scanner. Uh, somebody bought the 125 weekly puts, and then there's another uh, buyer for the June uh, 2024 115 put leaps, uh, paid on nearly $800,000 in premiums. So, so far, I haven't seen any buying uh, come in ahead of uh, their quarter. Um, Thursday is going to be the biggies. We all know that. Uh, we have Amazon uh, coming out on Thursday. Uh, again, they've been buying uh, for pretty much the last week, week and a half or so. They've been buying uh, the 30s, the 35s, the 40s. As you can see here, uh, today's uh, activity ahead of uh, the quarter on Thursday, the 3250s, the 35s, the 130s, uh, and the 136 weekly. So we'll see exactly what happens with uh, Amazon and Apple. I mean, Pretty steady buying from the options side of it. Pretty steady buying uh, going into earnings. You can see here, you know, they're coming for uh, the 180, well, 185 puts one order. But here you can see some pretty decent sized buyers came in for the 220s, the 205 Septembers, the 205 Septembers to 205 Septembers. Yesterday and the day before, a lot of 200 calls 
uh, coming into Apple. You know, we'll see. You know, we'll see if that pays off. It doesn't uh, automatically translate into higher prices, but at least you get an understanding where the institutional money flow was coming, just like they were coming on Meta. If you guys remember when Meta came out with earnings prior to Meta, they were coming for the 320, 325 calls, and you can see what happened there. But yes, they do miss. They do miss a lot. Uh, just again, case in point, when they were coming out of the 300 calls on Tesla, and then they rolled them into the 325 and 330s, obviously uh, those didn't pay. Speaking of Tesla, right? Speaking of Tesla, uh, yesterday we talked about they were coming in for the first time uh, first time in a while, uh, some deep out of the money calls with short term expiration that did not translate into today. I uh, will get to the pivots in a second. Um, I was in Tesla literally three times. It finally cracked uh, towards uh, mid morning. Uh, but again, it still continues to be uh, in the range here. But the only difference is it did lose the five day moving average, something to watch uh, going into tomorrow's session. Uh, but the you know the the most notable bets that came out today, uh, pretty you know pretty aggressive bets. AI, right? AI uh, had a really nice move again. We'll get to the pivots in a second. Look at the buyers that they came in for AI guys. This is all for the weeklies. They were coming for the forty-seven and a half weeklies, the thirty-nine in the monies for five hundred and fifty grand, the forty-five weeklies, the forty-seven weeklies. So they were you know pretty good bets, and you can see we'll show you in a second what happened with AI. And Carvana, right? Carvana as well. Uh, you know, the stock had a big move today. Look at the bets here, guys. Look at the bets here for the weeklies. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to translate that, but look at the bets here. They come to the 50s, the 52s. Uh, this guy came in for next week's $60 calls. This guy came in for the 66 weekly. So a lot of buying coming in on a lot of speculation names. And the most important part is that's kind of where the market is. You know, they try to... Uh, sell off the tape today uh, several times. They just couldn't do it. The market and the flag uh, continues to be, you know, pretty, you know, pretty copacetic here. Pretty, uh, pretty solid here on this flag here above the 50 day where it gets a little hairy if we lose the 50 day. But as we talked about now for the last several sessions, you don't have to guess if the market's going to go higher. It needs to build. The queues need to build above three, uh, 385. Is Amazon and, and Apple going to be enough? Uh, to get through it, we'll see. We'll see on Thursday. But tomorrow, you know, before we get to Thursday's session, we have to get prepared for tomorrow. And that's exactly uh, where we start uh, today's session. Uh, AI, I really, really like AI. It was a great trade today. A really, really good trade today. Uh, it broke above the Bollinger Band. It broke above the previous channel's high. And this is now the heaviest, the, the highest close in this whole formation. Again, like I, I mentioned uh, a couple of minutes ago, they're coming for... Uh, the 45s, right? The 45s and the 47 weeklies. If this thing confirms uh, today's channels, guys, keep an eye on this thing. This can, this thing could really, really wake up. Uh, look at a name, and I, I believe we discussed it yesterday. This is the highest close for, uh, what was the symbol? My God, it's getting late in the day. Oh, firm. I'm sorry. A firm. Uh, look at a firm, right? We talked about a firm yesterday coming out with a long, long range. This is now the highest close in the whole formation. Didn't give a huge move today, but now the stage is set. Now that it's above the Bollinger Band, the daily Bollinger Band, let's see if tomorrow it could spark up. If you look at the option flow today, look at the buyers they're coming in, right? They were coming in for uh, the 22, right? The 22 weeklies, the 22 and a half for next week. The stock's in $19. As far as I understand, they're not coming out with earnings till probably in the next week, two weeks or so. So this is not earnings related. So definitely, definitely uh, keep an eye on uh, a firm. In case the market pulls tomorrow, look at eBay. If you guys remember, eBay uh, eBay uh, got hit on earnings. Now it's just flagging. I want to watch the bottom of the earnings candle in case it gets hit. And Tesla, I'm watching as well. The yeah, decent little scalp today. Uh, you know, there was a buyer there that was trying to clear up. Decent scalp today to the downside. I want to see if they start getting below the five-minute, you know, the five-day moving average and confirming. The one thing is... When the market did uh, attempt to rally, right? When the market did attempt to rally uh, early in the day, it did not participate. If you guys remember, uh, I was short overnight Thursday into Friday. I had a nice runner, like a $4 runner. And obviously Friday had that big day. So maybe we get, maybe we, again, we can get that uh, set up on the bottom of the range here. But I, I'm definitely watching it tomorrow to see if it starts following through uh, for tomorrow's session. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Uh, Microsoft 333 held twice. If it builds below, uh, can flush. It got, you know, it got there again. Never, you know, never confirmed. Uh, TTD, as you can imagine, uh, 9166 needs to build. Never got there. Uh, Affirm, 
confirmed right on the close. So it's very, very important to see if a firm can take out opening range highs tomorrow, right? Tomorrow uh, to see if uh, if it could finally get going now that it closed above the Bollinger Band. Uh, Lyft 1280 needs to build, never got there. If you guys are aware, uh, Uber came out with earnings, uh, really, you know, had a move up and then just a really aggressive move up. So you can imagine uh, Lyft did not participate as well. Uh, guys, watch this ENPH for tomorrow. It's a little bit too thin for me, but keep an eye on this thing. They, they, they started buying the 133, uh, 143 weekly puts. It held 150 twice. Watch this ENPH tomorrow. If this thing starts losing 150, right, this whole area here, maybe it goes back to earnings lows. Something to watch for tomorrow. Uh, this is the, you know, this is the pivot that I caught Tesla. I was actually in this thing three times. The first time went down only 50 cents. The second time it stalled break even. The third time was the charm. It finally got through and traded down into the 260 level. Uh, into the 260 level. I want to watch this bottom channel here. See if tomorrow is going to be one more day. Uh, Netflix. You guys remember Netflix? It finally yesterday confirmed that dead cat bounce. Today confirmed, right? 440 needs to build. Uh, Netflix went all the way to 445. Great two-day run on Netflix. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught that as well. Uh, nice little scalp here on Microsoft towards the end of the afternoon. Nothing big. 338 went up like 50, 60 cents before the market turned. Uh, this thing didn't confirm. This was definitely the move uh, towards the latter part of the day. Uh, AI needs to build 43 and 43.75 and look at AI's move. Just a great, great move on AI. You can see the five minute view got above this 43, 43.75 and just started launching, uh, went all the way uh, to 45. I, I still really, really like it for tomorrow, especially if it opens up lower. Let's see if we get this thing on a dip uh, for a potential uh, short trap and go take out today's uh, high. So that's it, guys. That's it. Uh, a really good uh, organic day. We also had a couple of scalps that were not on here. Roku, we took it uh, through that 97, uh, through that 97 highs for the last couple of days. Again, I forgot to put it on the feed, but other than that, you know, pretty, you know, pretty seamless day. I, I think going into tomorrow, uh, the market, you know, might look for a little bit of another a rest day, but, the, but, but definitely rest assured all the stocks that we were talking about with option flow, those are the names you should definitely watch on your radar because there's the ones that are coming out with the institutional um, money flow, right? At least for tomorrow. And if they do start uh, taking out today's ranges, we could get a second day uh, in those names. AI, AFRM, uh, so forth and so on. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. And when all, everything goes well, I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Take care.